Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. If you are here, you are probably wondering how to install Android apps and games on Chrome OS Plex. Well, here's the thing. By default, Chrome OS Plex doesn't come with Google Play Store and no matter how much you dig, it just won't let you install Android apps from Play Store or even third-party sites. No Google Play Store on Chrome OS Plex. But don't worry, there is a solution, it's called Fide OS. So why Fide OS instead of Chrome OS with Google Play Store? Good question. Chrome OS with Play Store requires Branch, a compatibility tool that needs at least an 8 gen Intel or Ryzen CPU. And let's be honest, that's not exactly an option for everyone. Fide OS, on the other hand, is much more forgiving. It works smoothly even on a 3rd gen Intel CPU. That means way more flexibility for older machines. Pretty cool, right? With Fide OS, you can unlock more features and possibilities on your device without having to upgrade your hardware. In a talk, let's dive right into how to install Fide OS over Chrome OS Plex and run Android apps on your system. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Let's get started. So friends, first you need to open your browser and search for Fide OS and open this link. Click on download. Select Fide OS for PC, allow all cookies. Now here you have to download as part of system code name and click on any download link from there and download will be started. You can see download has been started. Now close it and now search for Chromebook Recovery Utility. Click on the link. Click on Add to Chrome. Click on Add Extension. Now you can see it's added. Now wait until the download is completed. Now you can see download is completed. Close it. Minimize the browser. Open files. Go to download. Double tap on the Fide OS file. You'll have to wait here until it's completed. Now you can see it's opened. Now select the .img file and drag and drop it to the download folder. You'll have to wait until the copy is completed. Now when it's completed, just go to download. You can see it's done. Now click on this icon. It's unmounted. Now you can delete this file .img.xz. Delete. Click on trash. Click on empty trash now. Click on delete forever. Go to download. It's done. Now select the .img file. Right click on it. Select the rename. Click after .img and after img add dot b i n click outside it's done minimize this now open browser again click on this icon select chrome as recovery utility close your browser now insert a pen drive to pc minimum 8 gigabytes recovery media is ready now click on the settings select erase recovery media select your pen drive click on continue click on erase now click on done again Open Chrome browser, click on this icon, open Chromebook Recovery Utility, close it. Now, again select on the settings, select use local image, go to download and select Fide US file, click on open. Now select your pen drive, click on continue, click on create now. Here you'll have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to complete the process. When it's completed, it will show success, your recovery media is ready. Click on done. Now you will have to restart your PC and boot into boot menu. To access the boot menu, you can open this photo, otherwise, you can search in Google. Now, from the boot menu, select your pen drive and hit on the enter key. Now, select your language and region, click on OK. Click on get started. Select install Fide OS. Click on next. If you want to use drill boot, you choose multi boot installation. If you want to install full disk, then select full disk installation and click on next. Select your drive or disk, click on install. This method will completely erase your disk and install Fide OS on your disk. So before proceeding, make sure that your data are backed up. Now it's completed and click on shut down. Your PC will shut down and you will have to restore it again. Again, select the language, click on OK, click on Get Started, click on Accept and Continue, again Accept and Continue, select Google Account, 
click on next select personally use click on next click on next now log in with your gmail id now if you want to create a separate password for firewares select this option and if you want to use a google account password as default password select this and click on next choose your icon size click on next choose your theme click on next and check these two options click and get started now you can see firewares 19 has been installed to your pc if you find any error or any problem you can let me know in the comment section below